Junior defensive lineman uh, Byron Coward has decided to transfer. First on Coward, he cited playing time and health concerns for his mother as reasons for leaving. He never started a game for Auburn, but Kirk, this is a bad look for Coward or for Malzahn right now, kind of trying to right the ship a little bit down there. Well, again, who knows the, the details about what his mother is going through, and, and it sounds like he wants to get home and, and close to her, which, which you can respect. Clearly, what he was expected to do on the field and what he was actually doing uh, were not connecting. And, and so you got to assume uh, maybe that had something to do with it as well. I don't know if it's a bad look for either. I, I just look at this, and this for me is, uh, this is very different than the year Jeremy Johnson was expected before he took a snap, expected to win the Heisman, and Auburn was going to do this. I, I, see, I still think Auburn's a good team. It's mm -hmm. easy to have a reaction to last week's game against Mercer. I still see a great defense with Kevin Steele, and I still think this quarterback, Jared Stidham, is going to get better with a young offensive line. He's got two guys on the left side starting for the first time. They can run the football, as we know, with the backs that they have. That last week was a clear case of just looking ahead, not even probably preparing the way they needed to for that game. But I'm not – I don't think Auburn is a team you need to write off, especially as bad guys as the SEC East looks. Um, to me, Auburn is still the biggest threat, in my opinion, maybe Mississippi State, uh, but it's the biggest threat still to Alabama at the end of the year. And Auburn has been victim to expectations, and that's that time period I'm talking about mm -hmm. before the season when we all yeah. decided that Stidham was going to come in and, and take this Auburn team up right there next to Alabama, and that just hasn't happened yet. I agree. We don't write them off just yet. We're three games in. I don't mm -hmm. think that the, the look of Coward leaving looks bad on anyone. I am a, mm -hmm. I'm in the corner of if you're at a school, and you don't want to be there for any reason whatsoever. If it's playing time, if it's you want to be closer to family, if you're just not happy, I have no problem with kids leaving. Go somewhere else. You only get one shot at this. When your time starts, when, when, you're, when your eligibility starts, there is a time frame involved. And to me, you go somewhere and be happy within that time frame. And I don't care if you spent a week or two years or three years at a place. When you want to go, I am a fan of you going, not only for the kid to be happy, but for the team, for the school. Because we all know that if there is a player that doesn't want to be on our team, then we as a team are happy if that player goes. It, I think it works both ways. You, you really, you know, because locker rooms are fragile places and, and leadership are fragile things. And sometimes you get in a situation where things detract from that. So if I'm a coach, if I'm a player, if I'm an administrator, an administrator and someone doesn't want to be there, I'm a fan of that person leaving.